Hey, what's up guys, Fabri here and welcome to Shades of Tech. In the last month I noticed that my iMac started to slow down and any macOS ICR update made it only worse. The apps loading took forever, the system didn't feel responsive enough and the animation were an endless lag. So here is how I solved the problem. In two words it's called clean install. It means formatting the hard drive, restoring factory settings and clean installing macOS. I just want to point out that this is not a tutorial for clean install, I leave a link in the description to detailed guides. My main goal is to show you how my macOS experience improved. Besides, I want to stress out that formatting your HD will erase completely all your content, so be sure to either backup all your data with Time Machine or clone your hard drive. The whole process is pretty simple, you just have to press Command R while turning on your Mac and a window will appear. Press Disk Utility, select your hard drive and format it. You will be able later to restore your backups from Time Machine. Now go back and click reinstall macOS. This part could be long according to your Wi-Fi speed, so I'll skip the boring part. You just have to complete the setup like you will do with a new Mac. And if you want to restore your backups for Time Machine, this is time. I personally prefer to copy all my contents from another hard drive and manually install all the apps again, but that's just me. In this way you will have restored all the factory settings and deleted all the trash, the temporary files and junks that your Mac stored during the years. After restoring all my files, photos, music, I immediately noticed the difference. Now it was back to the old glory, really responsive and quick, no lags. To show you the results, I made some comparison before and after and there is some difference. Not an SSD over mechanical drive improvement, but the one that improves your daily tasks on the Mac. So I suggest you to clean install every once in a while, because your Mac will keep up the performance and you won't get crazy over continuous lagging. In this test we measure the boot up speed. You can find on your right the iMac before the clean installation and on your left the after. For the purpose of this test I want to remember you that the two iMacs have the same programs, photos, videos and everything is the same for accuracy purpose. And here you can see as expected that the after iMac is a bit a little faster and stops at around 55 seconds and the before iMac goes up to 1 minute and 4 seconds. It's 10 seconds, it's not very much but it's some. Then we tested the photo app that on the after iMac started immediately and was a little bit laggish on the before. And then Final Cut Pro which is pretty slow to open and as you can see started really fast on the after iMac and loaded all the libraries much faster. And then the final stress test trying to open all the programs on the launch pad at the same time. It's a really stressful for the RAM. And the after iMac ended the task before. So thanks so much for watching, if you liked this video be sure to go iPhone 10 on the subscribe button and if you have any questions feel free to post them on the comment section. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!